morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a uh, great pleasure for me to be here and uh, share with you uh, some outcomes and challenges of uh, state enterprise reform in Vietnam and learn from you um, from uh, different perspectives and uh, experiences in uh, reform of state enterprises, especially uh, privatization in uh, other countries. Uh, similar to other countries, uh, the SOA reforms is the main uh, content of transformation uh, of uh, central planet economy to uh, market ones in uh, Vietnam. The difference from most other countries is we transform to the market economy uh, with um, social, socialist orientation. And uh, I think that uh, somehow uh, socialist orientation make us some troubles tra uh, and problems and more difficult this uh, maybe for, from others in uh, reforms of state enterprises. Um, state enterprises uh, in Vietnam uh, previously, before, to, um, uh, before 1986, there was about uh, 19,000 state enterprises and most of them are under the district and uh, provincial management. And uh, when uh, government removed uh, subsidies, most of them, uh, uh, most of them uh, could not uh, survive and have uh, to be liquidated. Um, and uh, therefore, we uh, have to liquidate um, three, uh, almost 6,000 uh, state enterprises at the beginning, at the starting point of the economic reforms in Vietnam. After that, uh, we uh, equitize uh, the most popular uh, modalities of state enterprises reforms Equitize, I mean that uh, somehow similar to the partial privatization in uh, other countries and mostly uh, partial but somehow insider uh, privatization. And uh, I think that uh, after 1992 uh, to 2000s, we uh, I think that we debate about how to deal with the, the rest, the remaining uh, state enterprises, about 6,000, 6,000. How we can deal with that? And uh, that period, about uh, 10 years, we uh, try to make uh, some pilot of privatizations. And up to 2000, we pilot uh, 10, 10 cases. And for the other state enterprises, we uh, have to consolidate, to consolidate, match uh, the of small uh, and loss-making enterprises to, uh, to make a larger one. We call uh, the general corporation, co corporation and uh, to set up also the business um, uh, state uh, business uh, economic groups. Um, and uh, after that, we cooperatize, that are similar to other uh, countries. Therefore, at the two, um, 2000s, I think uh, we have uh, about 6,000 uh, state enterprises. And uh, we announce official uh, policies of the equitization. Uh, after that, uh, I think that we, uh, up to now, we have uh, equitized already uh, 3,000 
uh, state enterprises. Um, and uh, we set up uh, about 100 uh, general corporations and uh, nine, um, nine uh, business uh, groups, uh, state uh, groups. The only uh, 100 business groups and uh, corporations, their asset uh, booking values is about uh, 222 billion, and uh, their equities is about 52 um, billion US dollar. And uh, I think that uh, so far, state enterprises uh, still play very important role in the economy but uh, relatively decrease. Uh, decrease is because of the uh, increase of the private uh, sector and uh, foreign uh, investment. Almost um, in terms of the equitization, uh, I think that we do mostly uh, within three years, that uh, 2,500 cases uh, enterprises equitize. And from 2007, the uh, number of uh, equitization significantly reduced. But at the same time, at, at this year, we access to the WTO. But uh, equitization or state enterprise reforms, I think, it slowed down. At the same time, from this year, the business groups, uh, business state group, diversify. Uh, their scope and they expand uh, businesses or investment to, into the unrelated uh, areas such as uh, real estate, uh, finance, and uh, many others. Therefore, I think the number of state enterprises in terms of subsidiaries of the business group uh, increase, increase. And uh, it means that uh, the scope of the state sector somehow uh, expand uh, from 2008. Uh, but so far, um, I think that uh, state sector uh, still account for 33% uh, of GDP. Um, private is about um, 45, 49. But the problem here is the former sector, private sector, is very small. Account only to 11% of GDP, and most uh, private domestic uh, sector in Vietnam uh, so far is uh, informal, informal sector. That is, uh, I think uh, this uh, domestic uh, private sector is small, and uh, therefore it is very limited uh, and small. Uh, domestic uh, market for the equitized uh, state enterprises. Uh, I think that this is one of uh, reasons uh, make uh, privatization or uh, equitization in uh, Vietnam in recent years uh, slow, slow down. Uh, in terms of the uh, employees, uh, state sector account uh, about uh, 10% including in administrative uh, public sector. Uh, and uh, most uh, employees uh, work into the uh, private, and uh, here is private uh, informal uh, sector. Uh, FDA account for about 3.5% uh, of uh, total uh, employment. And uh, state enterprises, still play dominant role in uh, many important sectors, uh, industries uh, of the economy, such as uh, cement, uh, fertilizers, insurance, uh, coal, and uh, many others. So they, they play a dominant monopoly, a dominant uh, players uh, in uh, this uh, the sector of the economy. And I think that uh, one of the most challenges so far, in my opinion, is the uh, inappropriate and very weak regulatory uh, framework. 
in our country, line ministries, they play at the same time for policy makers, uh, regulatory uh, regulators, and also uh, state shareholders. Therefore, in the us state uh, shareholders always uh, play dominant influence in the making policies and in regulating market in favor of relevant state enterprises. And previously uh, slides, we see, we see that, that state enterprises play dominant role in so many uh, industries uh, in, in Vietnam. So I think that this, this regulatory framework creates uh, line ministries as very powerful and uh, vested uh, group. I think it's, uh, they mostly oppose the critical change or reforms of uh, state uh, enterprises. And uh, they also uh, create uh, unequal uh, playing field, creates so many market distortion and uh, allocation of uh, resources in the economy. And uh, furthermore, I think that so far in terms of the market or economy or uh, market transformation, there is also no inappropriate role of uh, state enterprises in Vietnam. Because we, uh, as uh, I say, we follow a socialist orientation, therefore state enterprises uh, are officially used as instrument uh, of the market, uh, macroeconomic management, instrument for, uh, to intervene and regulate uh, the some industries market. Uh, they are considered also the material forces for state to intervene and to regulate the uh, economy. They also uh, considered as uh, the key forces for international uh, integration and also the instrument for implementation some uh, objective of the uh, social uh, policies, but there are no separation and uh, separate accounting of the commercial objective uh, and uh, um, social uh, objective. So I think this inappropriate uh, function of SOEs again creates uh, market distortion and leading to the uh, real misallocation of resources and low efficiency of state enterprises and uh, create uh, bottlenecks for the private uh, domestic uh, sector to uh, develop. Another challenge for us is that sub-budget uh, constraints of SOEs and inappropriate uh, framework for corporate uh, governance and many others um, under the questions so far uh, not uh, clear or consistent uh, answer. The first one is uh, which we try to uh, speed up uh, the uh, equitization, but uh, the question first is that what kind of enterprises we should solve, the best one or the worst one? Um, second is first we uh, carry out IPO, and after that, we select uh, the strategic partners, or otherwise, uh, what uh, percentage of shares of uh, state ownership we should sell, where the majority or major, uh, 20% or 30% or 50%, that is no, no answer uh, clearly. And uh, what, we, uh, what process we defined and methodology, we define the price of the shares uh, to sell in the, uh, to the private hands. And here I think that these uh, several challenges here uh, of SOEs uh, in re reforms, and uh, we face that issues related to the state enterprises, make uh, market distortions, uh, create, uh, I think, that quite a positive uh, impact uh, related to the 
macroeconomic uh, stabilization, at the same time create a huge button, bottlenecks uh, and reduce the um, rooms for the private uh, sector uh, to develop. And therefore, uh, I think that uh, the equitization or reform of state enterprises is the, the center of priorities uh, to move uh, the economy, uh, st uh, Vietnam economy, further to uh, more market uh, economy. Uh, thank you very much.